So using smart numbers in KV Core is obviously something that we recommend that everybody do so that you make sure that you get the right leads and you can do texting from it. You can send um, a variety of different things like, you know, use it on your signs and et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of things that are great about a smart number. One of the things that we also need to make sure that we do with a smart number is filter the leads that are the tracked calls. And so in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you something that I recommend that every single user does if they have a smart number and uh, it will really save you a lot of time and it's something that you, you should use as an ongoing practice. So stay to the end so that you can get all of the uh, thorough, if you will, uh, tips and tricks and why this is important. And like I said, if you have a smart number, I recommend that everybody use this, okay? So if you need more help with KV Core and you want to see uh, really how to set it up and use it smarter, not harder, then I also always invite you to join me in my free live masterclass or just look in the links um, in the description below because there's a variety of things that I do to help agents with their success uh, with their business and KV Core. All right, so again, stay to the end and I hope that you set this up put in the comments if you do, and I hope that this can save you some time. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this demo. So this uh, technique that I'm gonna show you is a really important filter that I think that uh, I recommend actually for you to save in your system, your KV Core system, because when you have a smart number, there's going to be a lot of like spam phone numbers or spam calls and things like that that are going to hit us up, right? You know, and so our database, our, our contact list, what have you, can get really like junked up with that. And uh, it can be frustrating, but I wanna show you a, um, an advised technique to do so that you can clean this up uh, most easily, right? So let's go ahead, um, I'm gonna do a demo step-by-step step so that you can set this up, which is uh, what we do um, so that we can keep it clean. All right, let's go ahead and let me sh share with you this demo. All right, so let me share my screen with you. And so when we come into, you know, CRKV Core, then basically uh, you're going to, you know, when you log into your dashboard, I've already got this set up, but when you log into your dashboard, then, you know, you're going to see a variety of different uh, names, right? So for purposes of, you know, confidentiality, um, then I want you to come over here to the CRM, meaning I'd, I'd like to just kind of stay on the screen. What you can do is you want to click on this uh, name here. And you can see that this is already filtered to, you know, 51, right? And so I want to share with you how I made this filter and how you can do it as well. So let's go ahead and watch it load. And you'll see that everything in this filter is phone numbers except for a couple right in here right so typically what happens is that when something is calling your smart number then it comes in as a buyer lead <clears throat> okay so then um, you can filter these because do you notice with all of these buyer leads that there's also there's not going to be uh, an email that's like a proper email if you will Okay, you can also click on the hashtag that has your phone number on it, right? So there's different ways that you can set up the filter, right? And so when this filter is set up for myself, it says new lead, right? And then when we come into the details, uh, this one says it's a new lead that has no email. All right, so that's very simple, right? So if I get any new leads and I don't have an email, I can scroll through right and then i can come down and say well i've got these um, that came in from a tracked call but the validation actually gave us a name right and so we can um, then see this says tracked call this is from a while ago and then i can save this filter so when you click down here you can say save filter and then you can name it right so um, that being said what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear this filter but i want you to see that the, our goal is for us to see all of the tracked numbers because if you test these um, you're going to start to see that a lot of these are kind of spam notice with this 276 is very very annoying look how many of these and, th and that's totally not our 
phone number at all. I mean, you know, and we're going to register um, your smart number. You can register it in the do not call. So you can see that there's a trend. Um, I know that this is a more local number. So if I was, if we're gonna test any phone numbers, you know, perhaps you can test the numbers that are in area codes that are local. Um, but you know, when we've done our spot tests, uh, quite often they end up being um, ones that are a bit um, spammy, if you will. And then uh, anyway, so nevertheless, um, you'll be able to pick up on your own trends and then you can save the filter. And so you can save it when you come down here, like I mentioned, you can save the filter. And then you also can also do it from up here and you can see your different saved filters. All right, so let me walk you through this. Up here are the saved filters. So when you go into your smart CRM and you see um, all the different uh, contacts, right? Then you're gonna see these are your saved filters, right? And then if you do all contacts, do you see this? It says all sphere, my contacts, see that right there? These are the same, has primary address. Um, I feel like KB Core is setting a few of them up um, for you, but you can, you can do different ones. So when you look, like if I just go to my dashboard like this, see I've got some by address. And then I've got these other um, phones, right? Phone numbers. And then you can see that uh, there's, there's, these are ordered in a certain way. So obviously um, we start to get into our certain, our names because I have this organized by first name, which means I'm gonna have my numbers show up first, okay? <clears throat> so when the numbers show up first, in contrast, if I click the other direction, then the names are going to be in opposite order, right? So the A through Z, the Z through A kind of thing. So I've done this. And then um, what I wanna do now is I wanna filter for me, right? These are prospects. So this means that we've had some conversations with them um, and they are, quite frankly, they are um, part of a circle prospecting campaign. And uh, nevertheless, um, they, are new leads right in here that for us one of the ways i recommend that you do it you say new leads and then you can say that it has no email right and so that's one way that you can do it you can apply the filter right you can make sure that it's the way that you want right and so when you uh, let it run here so it's obviously going to filter down from this number and then you can change the order. See, this is, I have these people here. Okay. And then you can look at your list. I know that new leads from the smart number come in as a buyer. So I'm going to apply the filter. And so you can see that you can, you know, toggle with it until you get the names of what you're looking for. Um, but then again, I'm going to do this. And so I see, you know, we can see that there's quite a few people in here, right? So then I'm like, wait a minute, that's not quite my list. So those are new buyer, seller, renters that actually have an email. I want no email, right? So even in this example, I'm going to make sure that you see this because we want to, you know, test your list to make sure that it's right. So I went back and I said, I want new. You could take away buyer, right? If you like. And then I'm like, has no email. So let's see what happens then. All right. And so now I'm getting all of those numbers that I Again, I've tested them. You wanna spot check it, maybe call the ones that have the local area code, but you can start to see the ones that do not, right? That are just totally um, spamming us, which is really, really annoying. So now you can save this one and then you can pin it to the top, right? So you could call this smart number. You could say new leads, no email, right? You could say um, smart, number um, leads to scan, you know what I mean? Like whatever you wanna call it. So I'm just gonna say smart number filter. 
spark number, filter, and then I'm going to do this. I'm gonna save it, right? And then when I save it to the top, um, it's going to come over here, right? And so I had actually already saved this before. So I noticed I say tracked calls, no email contact, new status. So both of these actually have the same criteria. Um, they save it in this way, right? Tracked calls, no email. And so it's going to populate. Um, and then if you want to, you know, get rid of some so that they're all like in one view here, then you can click on this little cog here. And then you can say, okay, well, I want to get rid of this one, right? And so you can say X, or you can just say, I just don't want to pin it to the top, right? So this is um, quick link, right? So you can have a more filters, but maybe you just don't want it to be at the top. So let's just say that you want to have, like this one says has primary, um, my only contacts, like let's just say, I don't need to worry about that and then um, I wanna save it. So anyway, so that's the search that I recommend that you uh, set up so that you can then pay attention to cleaning up your database, um, cleaning out the smart numbers, uh, really getting into the leads. Like if you're noticing there's something else odd about the kinds of leads you're getting or the, the sources, etc., then you can set those searches up in contrast then you also can, you're like, these are my favorite ones. I wanna make sure that I work on those. Or if you have a project that you're doing, um, you know, and we can do other, we can, we talk about those in other videos, but this is something that you want to always make sure that you check maybe like once a week, or if, you, if you're if you seeing that you're getting a lot of these or less of these, um, you know, then you can, you can uh, keep track of those, all right? And then of course you can clear those, uh, clear them out, but they do get a little bit annoying they can throw off your numbers when you see that they uh, are basically you know oh i look like i have this many leads but when you get down to the bottom you can see that a number of them aren't as quality you know as we want so then you can uh, pay attention to that all right so i again hopefully this is helpful it's one of the filters that i do recommend you set up and then you know i'll show other videos um, make sure you check out those about some of the other common filters that you want to have but this is a way to make sure that your database stays quality and not junky all right and just to audit them and check them to make sure if they're good leads or not and then you can also make sure that you see if there are things that come in that has some validation where they've you know added phone numbers or you've actually um, grabbed the call and you were able to uh, qualify them then this will help you make sure that you don't delete them. All right, so set it up and um, let me know if you did it. All right, so hopefully you are going to set this up again. If you, uh, I would love it if you wouldn't mind to tell me, did you set it up? Is this something you were already doing? Uh, because to me, if you start having like 10, 15, hundreds of these uh, leads, which are, you know, sometimes they're actually a person um, and I hate to say it like that, but sometimes in today's world, we get like a lot of spam. So also register that smart number. I encourage you to with the do not call list. Um, it is something that we realize that we need to do um, because we've had our smart number for, well, since 2017, 18. And so we're really kind of, um, you know, I think you have to re-register it every two years. So uh, anyway, nevertheless, hopefully this has helped you. And if it has, please give me the thumbs up. And I hope that I see you in one of my free events, uh, or if not, I invite you to join us, okay? All right, I'll see you next time.